All right, today, tonight, I should say, um, we've got uh, some uh, 1950s, I understand, Meinl hi-hat, uh, well, top, Meinl top. It's a Meinl Ambico Camber, or Camber Meinl Ambico. I'm not sure how the relationship is there of those companies, but or ownership, maybe there's some ownership changes that have happened over time. I am a nickel silver. Now on the bottom I'm running a little something different. I'm running some Pearl CX500 on the bottom. A, C, a Pearl CX500 green label from the 80s. Okay. Now I'm uh, with the snare I'm running, I uh, decided to get out my uh, Rogers R380 snare. Uh, oval, oval badge from the uh, late 60s made uh, actually put together assembled by Yamaha okay yeah Yamaha there's the label Bantam throw okay all right Yes, and by the way, anybody who watches a lot of my videos, um, yes, I'm aware that I have a, a buzz. Uh, no one said anything, but I'm aware that I have a, a head buzz um, on this tom. Uh, I, I, in order to fix it, I'm going to have to check the edge and put a new head on it, so I, I don't uh, have the time or resources to do that right now. Um, time, mostly, is a big thing, but... I don't want to do any head modification until I start doing that with my uncle. But it sounds pretty good from here, though. And CB700 Tosco made a uh, crash there. Uh, this is, I don't know who made this. It's an Argent. Um, very early Sabian. What was the year that they, they started Sabian? You know, 81 or something like that. Um, double A's, I understand, but I never saw any uh, black ink on these. So could be um, very, very, very early Sabians. Uh, Pasty 505s. We've got a 20-inch medium and a 22-inch quote-unquote ride. Pasty Stencil, Stage Master. Um, I learned recently it could be a 68, 69, 67, 68, 69, somewhere in there. Instead of the 70, 72 that I was led to believe earlier. At any rate, um, one of Mr. Cooper's finest. Um, made by Pearl. Uh,
one. I don't even know. <laughs> long all right it'll be pretty long though thanks have a good evening <laughs>